hello everyone welcome back again uh, here in this video we are going to design a silt excluder okay this is our um, third numerical related to a designing of silt excluder and before this video we have already done two different uh, design of silt excluder so i can show you here uh, we have done this numerical in the previous video and we have also done this numerical in previous video okay and uh, this question was taken from the uh, Pokhara University 2018 uh, fall okay world question so we have done these two numericals and today we are going to solve this third numerical related to the designing of silt excluder okay and you can see here this is the question given over here and we have to design silt excluder from the uh, given this data okay so let's see the solution And before this, if you are new to the channel, please do like, share, and subscribe the channel. Okay, and press the bell icon so you will get a regular update. Okay, and I have uploaded different video related to irrigation engineering and civil engineering, so you can visit our channel as well. Okay, so let's see the solution. Okay, so you can see here this is a given question and now we have to design silt excluder okay so uh, you can see a uh, design or silt excluder from the uh, given data and data our canal discharge is given 150 cubic width of under solution waterway 13 meter average sediment diameter 0 0.37 meter Mannings roughness coefficient that is eta equal to 0 0.016 level difference between crest level of canal head regulators and the off stream under solution floor equal to 1.3 meter and the length of tunnel equal to 70 meter okay so this is all about the given data and now we have to design silt excluder okay and whenever uh, in the question asked to design silt excluder then we have to uh, design different parameter of the excluder okay for this we have to uh, design basically i will show you here and I have already discussed in previous video, we have to uh, calculate these all parameter that is entry width, uh, exit width, height of tunnel, exit velocity. Okay, so these parameters that we have to uh, calculate for the designing of uh, whenever in the question asked to design a silt excluder. Okay, so uh, in solution, very first step we have to calculate the uh, capacity of canal. Okay, and the capacity of canal is always taken 20% of the total canal discharge. Okay, so we have to take 20% of total canal discharge and it means 0 0.2 into canal discharge is already given in the question 150. So this value becomes 30 cumex. Okay, and the capacity of canal becomes 30 cumex. Now we have to assume entry velocity and exit velocity. So let us assume entry velocity equal to 2 meter per second and exit velocity equal to 3 meter per second. Okay, we have to always use the exit velocity uh, greater than the entry velocity. Okay, this already uh, discussed in the previous video. Now we have to uh, determine the entry cross section area. Okay, and uh, whenever we have the discharge and uh, velocity, we can simply calculate area and area uh, can be calculated with the help of this area equal to q by uh, velocity and the discharge is uh, taken 30 and velocity is 2 then the entry uh, cross sectional area equal to 15 meter squared and exit cross sectional area equal to uh, 30 by we have to uh, use uh, velocity when, uh, when we uh, calculate uh, entry cross section then we have to take the entry velocity that is 2 and when we calculate exit uh, cross section area we have to take the velocity exit velocity okay so we have to take these two uh, velocity for these two different area so the uh, entry cross sections become 15 and uh, exit cross section becomes kilometer square okay now we have to assume slab thickness slab thickness is generally taken 30 cm okay or you can say 0 0.30 meter okay and height of tunnel height of tunnel equal to uh, 103 uh, minus 0 0.3 this value uh, we have to minus this value slab of a thickness okay and <coughs> when we subtract uh, this slab thickness uh, from the upstream under sluice floor that is given in the question 1.3 meter 
ओके आफ्टर माइनस डिस वैल्यू वन पॉइंट थ्री माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री दैट इज स्लो स्लैब थिकनेस देन यू गेट्स हाइट ऑफ टनल दैट इज वैल्यू ऑफ एच इक्वल टू वन मीटर ओके नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द विथ ऑफ टनल एट द इन थ्री ओके एंड वेन वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड एच इज ऑलरेडी नॉन देन यू कैन सिंपली कैलकुलेट विथ ऑफ टनल बी इक्वल टू ए बाई एच एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज ऑलरेडी अनाउन दैट इज यू कैन सी ये फॉर द इन थ्री वी हैव टू टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एच इज वन मीटर ओके सो दिस वैल्यू बिकम्स फिफ्टीन मीटर ओके सो दिस इज फॉर द इन थ्री ओके यू कैन राइट ऑल्सो हेयर नाउ विथ ऑफ टोनल एट द एग्जिट ओके नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट विथ ऑफ टोनल एट एग्जिट एज कैलकुलेटेड इन द इन थ्री वी हैव टू जस्ट यूज दिस बट वी हैव एरिया इज are different okay uh, for the entry we have area equal to 15 so we just take 15 and for the uh, exit we have the area calculated 13 so we have to just take 10 okay and h is taken one then this value becomes 10 meter okay and let, and let us provide number of tunnel n equal to 4 you can uh, provide 4 5 or 6 generally okay so in this numerical let us provide number of tunnel equal to 4 then width of each tunnel total uh, width of canal we have calculated now you can see here uh, total width of uh, tunnel equal to 15 meter okay and whenever we provide number of tunnel equal to 4 then we have to calculate the width uh, of a tunnel for the individual okay so width of uh, each tunnel equal to uh, total width that is 15 meter and number of tunnel that is 4 okay so width of uh, each tunnel becomes 3.75 meter at the entry Okay, or you can write here. Uh, okay, at entry. Okay, so this is uh, the width of uh, each tunnel in entry equal to three point seven five. Now we have to assume the width of divide wall. Okay, and I already told told you in previous video. Okay, we have to always take the width of divide wall is zero point six meter. In previous video, uh, we have also taken the width of uh, width of divide wall equal to zero point Six uh, meter. You can see here. Assume width of uh, divide wall is zero point six meters. And also in first numerical, we have taken uh, the width of uh, wall equal to zero point six meter. You can see here. Okay. So uh, in uh, we have to take always the width of uh, wall is zero point six meter. Okay, divide wall. Then the total width uh, becomes fifteen uh, plus three times of uh, this zero point six. Because whenever we provide four number of tunnel, then we have to uh, multiply the width of divide wall uh, with three. Okay, then we can uh, only get total width. And in previous video, I already told you whenever we take uh, the total number uh, total number of uh, tunnel uh, six, then we have to uh, we have uh, done. Um, you can see in previous video. Uh, we have taken six number of tunnel okay that's why we have to uh, multiply this width of divide wall with a five okay we have to multiply uh, this uh, width of divide wall with the uh, n minus 1 value okay when we take uh, n equal to 6 then we have to multiply with n minus 1 that is 5 okay and in this video we have taken the number of uh, tunnel equal to 4 Okay, that's why uh, we have to multiply with uh, n minus one. That is, uh, n minus one equal to a uh, three. Okay, so so you can see here, uh, n minus one is three. Uh, total width equal to fifteen plus three into zero point six. Okay, then it becomes sixteen point eight, and at exit width of each tunnel equal to. We have to uh, calculate for the single tunnel. Then we have total number of tunnel equal to four, so we have to just divide this width of uh, tunnel at exit ten meter uh, by four. Okay, then the width of each tunnel becomes two point five meter. Okay, so you can uh, write these all value in. Uh, you can see here here uh, width of uh, tunnel is two point five meter. Okay, uh, total number of tunnel equal to four. Okay, width of each tunnel equal to uh, this. Okay, capacity of I uh, can recall to this, so you can also like uh, uh, like this. Okay, so this is all about the solution of this numerical. 
okay in this way we complete the three on uh, numerical related to the design of shield excluder okay and if you understand these three numerical you can uh, design any numerical given in the question okay with the help of these two solution these three numerical solution i hope guys you understand very well if you have any queries please comment down below thank you very much see you in next video thank you